Hi, welcome to the Coffee Chat Show here on Buzzing Patea, the show where we talk about things that are happening right here, right now, as well as general news, tips, information, and advice. All right, so today's show is a request. It's came in from a, from one of our guys, Ben. Hi, Ben, good morning to you. And uh, the question that he's asked is that he's coming to Patea for the first time and just wants to understand about what the situation is regarding tips here. Do we tip all the time? How does it work, etc., etc.? And it's a good question. But before I go into it, I just want to ask you guys for your thoughts on what your criteria is in terms of when you tip. Because sometimes we feel under pressure that we should tip or we feel embarrassed if we don't tip. And I must admit, when I first came here, I always tipped because I thought, well, I don't want to look like I'm a cheap Charlie and not leave a tip. Now, no, I'm completely different now. Now I have to work... I work in myself as to whether or not I believe they deserve a tip and, and et cetera, et cetera. But I'm going to cover that in a second. But I also want to ask you a question. Those of you, and I'm sure most of you that have traveled around many different countries, where have you also found to be the worst place in the world in terms of tipping? Now, for me, it was America. I went to New York and I had a, a fantastic time while I was there, but I had a horrific time in terms of tipping. And I'll tell you why. Now, before everyone shouts out, oh my God, I understand that they work on a minimal wage, so therefore bartenders, etc., they rely on their tips. I get that. But I'm in New York. I stayed in the, in the Renaissance Hotel, and uh, I wanted to go into town. So I've gone outside. Big, tall concierge comes up to me and says, sir, would you like a taxi? I mean, there's about 5,000 going past me every two seconds. I'm like, no, you're okay, mate. I can take care of this. So I've got me and the missus. I'm stood there on the edge of the road. Hello, hello, stop. <laughs> hello, hello. Nobody batted an eyelid. Concierge walks up, stood next to me, and he says, sir, would you like a taxi? And I'm thinking to myself, dude, like, there's millions here. Why are they not stopping? Anyway, long story short is he blew his whistle. Shoom, car came in, stopped, opened the door with dollar bills in his hand. And I'm like, oh, okay, here you go. There's your dollar bill. Got in the taxi, drove. When I got to the other place, dollar bill. I'm like, why am I tipping the taxi now? You know, this is, they've, they've got the fare meter. Now it's a, a fare plus tips. Went into a bar, sat down overlooking the river. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. And the bartender served me my beer, served my missus her drink, and we sat there. Anyway, I came to get, and he put this uh, like marker, a little marker on the table there. And uh, anyway, all the people had all these markers, and I'm saying, yes, please, fella. Carried on walking past, walking past. Hello, fella, can I get a beer, please? Hello? The guy next to me said to me, do you notice the difference between you and everybody else? I thought, well, I'm, you know, obviously there are differences. Yeah, okay, I'm, a, allow me, you know, a, educate me. He said, look at that marker on the, beer, on the bar in front of you. You need to put a dollar bill under it. And I looked down the bar, and it was a long bar, and everyone had these dollar bills, four, five, six, seven. I'm like, really? So I put the dollar bill under, and sure enough, yes, sir, what would you like? I'm thinking, this is outrageous. So that was New York. So my question to you is, where in the world is your most horrific experience in terms of tipping or, you know, any, any places you want to share where people are expecting you to tip. All right, so that's that. Now, let's get to Patia. All right, tipping. What do you think? For me personally, I have a few things. So if I buy one beer in a bar, I don't ever tip. Never. Because I don't believe that they've generated enough service for me in order for me to warrant tipping them. You know, I'm, maybe I'm a cheap Charlie. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys tell me. But for me, if I walk in, buy one beer, get up and walk out again, no tip. Unless I've had someone come and sit with me and she's talked to me while I've been drinking my beer. But in all honesty, if I'm having one beer, normally it's because I want me time and I tend not to go to the bars. Having said that, if you are in a bar, now you've got a bit of a balance because if you've been interacting with the girl and you've been having fun and maybe you've bought her some drinks, well, in effect, that's her tip. But the tip that you put inside the, the wallet goes to the staff behind the, the bar that are serving you the drinks to the girl to bring to you. And it's a bigger picture than it is than just, hey, I'm paying this girl a tip. So do you tip her? Do you put an additional amount of money inside the, the check bin for the staff? Now I'm guessing, and I don't know, and if you run a bar here with girls, please educate me, but I'm guessing that the bar staff get that side of it and the girls keep their tips. Maybe they put it all together and share it out. I don't know. I kind of can't see how that works because obviously the girl that's doing all the, the uh, customer interaction, she doesn't go back and say, oh, by the way, I've got 50 baht on here and I've got this and this. So in terms of tipping in the bars, me personally, one beer, no tip. Two plus, 
Yep, I'm happy to drop 20 baht in as the norm. 20 baht seems to be the normal tip that we give. Um, and if it's been an exceptionally good time and we've had fun and the girls have been fun, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll put 100 baht in or whatever. So to answer the question, for bars here, personally, I think a 20 baht tip for two or three beers is adequate. What do you think? Do you think I'm being a cheap Charlie or do you think, no, that's about fair, it's about what you would give? Restaurants are different because restaurants... Number one, always check your, your bin because some of these places add it on as a service charge, 10% as a service charge. So just check your bin first before you make any decisions about whether or not you're going to give a tip because you may already have been paying the tip without even realizing it. But if you don't have a service charge, then you may want to consider tipping the waitress and for their service. Now, as a golden rule, again, 20 baht seems to be the normal here, but you know if it's been great food, great service, they've been looking after you, then perhaps you want to tip more. But it's not obligatory. It's not a mandatory thing. It's down to you as an individual. But I will say this, and, it, and it's been noticed in certain places, that if you go back, these girls and the, and the service team have got great memories, and they will remember if you tipped or not. And believe me, I know it sounds crazy, but honestly... They've got incredible memories, the Thai people. They really have. And if you don't tip them, I'm not saying you're going to get a bad service, but what I'm going to say to you is perhaps you might not be their priority because they know that last time when you came in, you didn't tip them. Maybe. I don't know. But certainly, I find if you tip when you go into a bar or into a restaurant, if you are someone that tips, people tend to react with you a lot more than if you don't. And I've got a few friends that uh, never tip. You know, and I'm like, really? And they're like, no, why should I? I'm paying for the serve, for the bottle of beer and that's it. And I'm like, okay, up to you, no dramas. Each to their own. But what do you guys do? Do you drop 20 bars at a time? Do you drop more than that? Do you not tip? You know, what do you base your tip criteria on in order for you to get your hand in your pocket and put an extra bit on? So it's quite a short coffee chat today because really there's not a lot to, to offer other than Number one, where is the worst place in the world you've been to that has been all about tip, 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 tip? And for me, it was New York, and it was a fantastic time, but a horrific time in terms of tipping. Here, when you come here, do you tip if you buy one beer? Do you tip if you're buying a few beers, but the service has been poor? Do you tip if the service has been great? You know, how much do you give? Are you a 20 bar person, or do you, or do you put more than that down on the table? Or does it depend on where you are? You know, what's your thoughts on tipping? All right, that's it for me today on the Coffee Chat. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when we bring out a new video. And if there's any topic that you want us to, to uh, chat and discuss about, please drop me a comment below or ping me an email, whatever. Ask away. I'm sure we can do it. I'm sure we can incorporate it. You know, you guys out there are fantastic. You're the knowledge, not me. I just pose the questions. All right. Thank you very much. Please, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.